Hello and welcome here, with Marvel Studios' formal dismissal of Jonathan Majors as Kang, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is undergoing a major upheaval. Marvel Studios has been positioning Kang the Conqueror as the MCU's next main antagonist after the battle against Thanos since the start of the multiverse saga. However, Marvel Studios has been dealing with a significant problem behind the scenes since Majors' arrest in March since the actor's public persona has impacted their bigger ambitions. THR claims that Majors and Marvel Studios have broken up after his trial's outcome, and he will no longer be portraying Kang in the MCU. The announcement was made only hours after it was made public that Majors had been found guilty of two minor charges of assault and harassment. The current date of his sentence hearing is February 6, 2024. Majors has also been removed from the cast of the Otis Redding movie. Neither Majors nor any of his agents have responded to a request for comment on Marvel Studios' decision as of the time this story was published. So why Jonathan Majors' absence won't stop the MCU from continuing? Who will genuinely replace Majors as Kang now that Marvel Studios has severed relations with him is the next unanswered issue. The MCU is sticking with Kang as the main nemesis of the multiverse saga, especially since Avengers The Kang Dynasty is still in motion. Given how much time they have spent developing Kang during Phases 4 and 5, which will pay off in Phase 6, it seems reasonable that they are sticking with him. It would be a lot to absorb with whoever takes Kang's position as the primary antagonist if the multiverse saga decided to abruptly end their narrative in the middle of it. It's unknown where Kang will next make an appearance prior to Avengers The Kang Dynasty, so only time will tell when Marvel will begin the process of hiring a new actor for the character. Depending on the outcome of Major's trial, it wouldn't be strange if Marvel Studios was covertly considering individuals to take Major's position. The fact that Major's was let go so fast after the trial says a lot about how prepared Marvel Studios was to end his contract with them. If the MCU took a little hiatus from Kang before returning to him in Avengers The Kang Dynasty, that wouldn't be shocking. It remains to be seen who will succeed Major's as Kang in the MCU when 2024 rolls around. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.